it is time to filter my water. So I have been hauling in water for the past few months. Every single week, I have to haul in like uh, 11 plus gallons of water uh, for drinking water. And that involves me running all the way to the water station, getting water, and then hauling it all the way back here. And then um, trying to be careful with the amount of water I use. So it's time to upgrade my system to have filtered water. And I figured out a way to do that without electricity. Since I already have a water pump, I just need that. And then I just need to build my water filter system. It's gonna be a quantum disinfection filter, which will be much better than UV light because it actually kills all of the germs instantly and all the bacteria. And uh, it doesn't heat up the water or use any electricity or leak mercury, just like UV lights do. So it's a, uh, build this system and install it. And then we're gonna have fresh drinking water on demand from the rain. So no, no fluoride. These are my major parts that I've got here to put together. This is the reverse osmosis part. So this is going to remove the big stuff. And then this is the quantum disinfection, disinfection uh, filter. It's by this uswatersystems.com company. They sell this with the filters is a package for like $84. Um, other companies sell just this for like $700. But I've got a bunch of connections and everything else. So I'm going to put it all together and mount it to this board right here. This board will allow me to make it more portable. So first things first is to get these two together. Um, make sure they're both facing the right way got this for my connecting piece do a couple of wraps make sure you're going the right direction with your wrapping and then just make sure she's going in there straight Okay, and now what I'm going to do on this side is put the thread pipe sealant so that way it, uh, it makes it a little bit easier for you. Okay, now the goal is to have these at the same direction and the same uh, orientation here. So that's still a little loose. Let's see if we can get one more turn. And then that is going to tighten up right there. So that should be good. Hopefully that doesn't leak. Now what we're going to do is mount these to here. Okay, now I need to uh, hit all these with some thread lock, some thread seal. This is a uh, three-fourths to a uh, PEX pipe fitting. A little screw in one-fourth inch connection. And I've got to get that to turn into shark bite PEX pipe which is going to end up being this. So I've got three different pieces to put together. I've got a one-fourth, one-fourth nipple, one-fourth to one-half uh, male-to-female adapter, and then a female PEX pipe, one-half inch to one-half inch. Uh, so I just got to put those three together two times. Okay, you guys, so this is the system. Super simple. Water's gonna come in and it's gonna go out. Oh, let's see if this is going to work. I didn't. Oh, okay, sweet. That does. That works out good. Oh, I guess we can also, uh, 
come in like this. But I'm thinking about mounting it right here for now. This will give it the least amount of UV light and such. We have it all plumbed up and going now. So it's a matter of letting the pump pressurize the system again and get all the air out. But go ahead and open that up for now. First filter looks like it's getting pressurized. Waiting for water to reach the second filter. Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. So now it's gone through point like 10 microns. Now it's a, like a half micron once it goes through this. So might need to fix the pressure with this to get it to run properly. Okay, so that one's, that one's in now. Now we have to wait for the quantum disinfection to get water to come out. This is so sweet that we have uh, filtered water in our system now. Man, this looks crazy. Look how big the filters look now. They look like they're like expanded all the way, but it's really just the water's making an illusion. Um, are we having any leaks? We are leak free. Okay. Oh, 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 look at it, look at it. Quantum disinfected water. That's drinkable water right there. You're supposed to let it go for like two minutes. Now it's just a matter of getting my jug underneath there to fill up, which I guess I can do. That is filtered water, baby. Safe to drink straight from the sky. Now I can actually like let off some pressure from my water tank. Cause look at this thing, like it is bulging out. It is a little too full. It's maxed out on that water. This is so sick though. So it goes straight from there, down out the water pump, up uh, through here. And that's simple. Quantum disinfection. Wow, that was really easy to set up and add to all this. Uh, the whole setup probably cost about 250 bucks after all the connecting pieces and glue and everything. Yeah, 250. Way cheaper than a thousand. And now I don't ever have to haul in water ever again. This is so sweet. Definitely an awkward location. But, so awesome.